good morning children today physical science second unit okay physical science in first lesson what is measurement okay next physical science second unit forces and pressure forces and pressure okay now learn about that what is forces and what is pressure is it introduction every day you can observe bodies around you when you are coming to school you can notice that some of them are moving some of them are at rest what pushes or pulls them what brings the moving bodies to rest what is the effect of the pulls or pushes okay all the above questions can be answered by saying just one word which is force okay every day you can see as the bodies around you see some of them rest some of them moving okay so you can find out which one push or which one pulls whatever push or pulls that is only called a forces now let us study about that what is force observe the following action in day to day life opening up a pen opening a door kicking the football striking a carom coin making of chapatis etc all the actions need a force you know all the actions need a force force is an action of pull or push or pull okay force is force is an action or action of push or pull which makes the bodies to move or brings the moving bodies to rest it even changes the shape and size of the certain bodies okay this is only force force is an action of push or pull where which makes the bodies to move which makes the pull if you give a pull or push it makes the bodies move otherwise bring to the moving bodies to the rest it even change the shape and size of the certain bodies okay. listen one activity make a two groups of students and let them stand along the straight line one behind the other on the playground start the game of tug of war you know that with the rope observe the movement of the students who are the winner see the group of students who pull the rope with a greater force will definitely win okay which groups pull the force greater force that groups will definitely win okay the winners are applying a greater amount of force okay va the winners are applying a greater force yaar romba alluthungalukku veegama ilukranga enna padra opposite team la enna iruva nama nam side vandha avanga vilunduruvaanga that is you give you a great force hence a rope moves in the direction of the greater force okay definition of force definition of force force is that force is that which changes or tends of change the state of rest or the state of uniform motion of the body the direction of moving the body or shape of the body okay force is that which changes forces changes or tend to change what and all change see the state of rest the state of rest the state of uniform motion of the body okay wow the state of rest otherwise the state of uniform motion of the body next the direction of a moving body or shape of the body four pushes and pulls are forms of forces the direction of your force is in the direction in which a pull push or a pull is applied thus force is a vector quantity force is a vector quantity which has magnitude and direction 
it measured with the unit called new, newton okay forces it is means what force force is measured with the unit called a newton for symbol capital n but you have to write in means small n but it mentioned capital n next factors on which a force depends you have studied the effects of the force so what now you are going to study the factors on which of the effects of your force actually depends when you play on any game the greater of the force you apply on the body greater will be its effect on it am right just observe the strokes of the bat by the batsman if he wants to hit the cricket ball to the boundary the striking force on the ball must be greater that is only fact force it will give you will give more force means ball it gets sixer or cross the boundary that is they give you a force if they give you four more greater force give to the ball that's why ball it's moving now the question before you is uh, doesn't depend on the area is impact see activity fix a matrix of a sharp pins on a wooden board of a row and columns take a big balloon blow up the balloon next place it gently over the pins place the small book on the top of the balloon will be balloon burst will the pins prick the balloon see in friends what we see the wonderful sight of to see that the balloon will not burst will not burst how it is possible reason if you prick the blow a balloon with a simple pin it with will burst but if you break the balloon blown up a balloon with a single pen it will burst but now it's not a burst why this did not happen even though many more pins were pricking the balloon a single pin produces a large pressure over the small area okay va wow. a single pin produces a large pressure over the small area but when we large number of pins prick the body each pin extracts very little pressure on the balloon can you understand when the blow of the balloon you prick you stick um, you prick the balloon means it balloon will burst but number of pins it can't burst the balloons so what is the reason a single pin produce a large pressure over a small area so it will burst but when a large number of pins break a body each pin exert very little pressure on the balloon as the applied force gets disturbed over a large surface of the body so the balloon will not burst can you understand we conclude that effect of the force depend on the magnitude of the force and the area over its acts okay next class we will discuss about that next okay